Hello, back once more for the word for you today, our daily devotion here at Community Baptist Church in Santa Rosa, California. Welcome. We have the case for God, part four, which is our last part in that uh, devotion sequence. And our scripture is Romans chapter one, verse 21. And it says, they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. Contemplating the amazing design of our universe, physicist and Nobel laureate Arno Penzias tries to explain it in this way. Astronomy leads us to a unique event, a universe created out of nothing, one with the very delicate balance needed to provide exactly the conditions required to permit life. In the absence of an absurdly improbable accident, the observations of modern science seem to suggest an underlying, one might say, supernatural plan. Harvard biologist Stephen Jay Gould describes humans as a glorious accident of evolution, which needed 60 trillion contingent events. Cosmologists estimate the Earth to be 4.55 billion years old. So to accomplish those 60 trillion events would necessitate more than 36 essential events a day for 4.55 billion years, just to get Homo sapiens. And conveniently, each of these 36 new events would have to occur in the right place, at the right time, in the right sequence. And this doesn't take into account the astronomical number of accidents required to form the tens, possibly hundreds of thousands of individual ecosystems. One individual put it this way, the odds would be better of getting, <laughs> this is funny, the odds would be better of getting hit by lightning at the moment you won the Powerball lottery while dying in the crash of a plane that got struck by a meteor. <laughs> oh, wow. Dr. Francis Collins, director of the Human Genome Project, a believer himself, describes exploring nature as a way of getting a glimpse of God's mind and observes all truth is God's truth and therefore God can hardly be threatened by scientific discoveries. Amen. God is real and when you reach for his help, you will get it. That is very, very true and, and put him you know, try him. <laughs> Have you tried Jesus? <laughs> because yes, if you reach for his help, you will get it. And uh, that's about all there is to say on that. Uh, have a wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless.